Hey guys, this is Project Sub OK here with the Otterbox case for the iPod 4th generation. Um, I'm going to do a review on the Otterbox case. As you can see, here's the logo for the Otterbox uh, case. And then uh, you can still see the Apple. Um, so yeah, that that's one of the uh, features of it. Uh, you can see the camera, uh, so the camera can also still take pictures and stuff. Um, it has this cool uh, grip design, uh, so um, like it has a texture to it, like a diamond texture, um, and that also helps to keep it uh, like um, kind of uh, like staying in place. Um, and so yeah you have the apple thing uh and there's actually plastic right there uh to keep water out of there and stuff um and then as you can see we have the uh, volume control buttons right here um these are like you hear a click every time you uh push it um i'm not sure if you're able to hear the click but uh yeah you do hear one every time you push it so you know that you're pushing it and uh, now going to the front, you have your camera right here. Uh, this is actually like a little vent thing as far as heat management and everything. Uh, you have a screen protector right here. Um, and the screen protector is built into the OtterBox case. Uh, you have your button, your home button right here. Uh, so when you click that, uh, it turns on. Um, and you can actually hear a click on that as well. Uh, and then see the uh, screen protector allows full uh, motion and everything uh, so it's still as sensitive um, you have your speaker uh, open up down here and then you have your flaps uh, that actually seal these uh, this is your uh, cord um, cord uh, cord adapter right there um, so you can plug it into your computer plug it into the charger uh, whatever and this actually seals up as you can see it has like a ridged thing there uh, this seals it up and then over here you have your headphone jack uh, this seals up as well as you can see it has that little uh, dial right there um, and this seals up that plugs that dial plugs into the headphone jack um, so you can uh, make sure that it's uh, sealed up and everything water stays out of there and also dirt stays out of there um, and then yeah so there's the flap for that one or that little ridge thing and that helps keep water out of there uh, the big flap that covers up the uh, cord adapter is kinda hard to put in there uh, but your headphone jack one uh, goes in there perfectly um, so it has this ridge, uh, design, the Apple feature, the camera, the OtterBox logo, the built-in screen protector, the camera view up front, the vent, and the home button, and then also, um, and also these. Um, and, uh, as far as I know, uh, like I've, I've dropped this case so many times and it actually w it still works, my iPod still works, um, as you can see. Um, and so you're able to uh, make sure that your iPod is protected, um, everything. Uh, I will now take, a, take the OtterBox case apart. Uh, what you do is you take this silicone off first. So you have your silicone. Um, and this goes around the hard shell, uh, so you still have your flaps and everything there. Um, and you have your buttons here, uh, your home button, um, and then your hole, except the silicone does not have the plastic piece. So you have silicone. Now as you see here, we have the uh, hard case, the hard part of the case. So this comes apart very easily. Um, and then as you can see here, you got your screen protector. Um, so, yeah, 
And then you have your holes for your camera and your vent hole, uh, home button hole. Um, and then this actually has ridges on it. Uh, like this allows the silicone to uh, uh, get down in there tight and uh, stay sealed. Um, as you can see, there's a ridge around the camera hole. Uh, and that is so around the camera it can be sealed also. So you have your silicone, your face, and then uh, a backing for the iPod. This part is the part that has the plastic on the back where the apple goes. Um, and then you have your patent things there. Um, and so yeah, this is also raised up right there around the hole. And then around the camera hole you got it raised. Uh, and then also down here you have a raised uh, you have a raised edge. Um, and that's to allow for better sealing. Uh, your plastic is actually inside, it's not outside. So you make sure that it's still in there. Um, and you're able to click your buttons. Uh, right here is your uh, sleep button. Right here is your volume button. And then we're down here you have your speaker, headphone jack, and uh, cord adapter. So that is your silicone, your face, and your backing. Uh, and then this is the iPod. Um, and this is the fourth generation iPod. You have your camera right there. You have your camera right there. Your home button is actually on the left, on the right side this time. Uh, instead of left side like this iPod as you can see here this one is on the left and that allows you to open that up and stuff um, you can actually get an OtterBox case for the um, iPod first second and third generation um, so now going back to the fourth generation uh, you have your camera um, home button your iPod uh, logo on the back and your camera your uh, sleep button and then it tells you how many gigs you have and stuff uh, so I will now go ahead and turn this on um, I will open it up and then I will uh, show you um, like my apps and stuff uh, and so as you can see that's music uh, you got your videos, uh, you got your internet, then you have your Gmail, or mail, whatever, um, and then you have your settings, so you can change your settings and everything, and then whatever apps you want. Uh, on the iPod 4th generation, you can actually change the background, uh, instead of being black all the time, and I have these little... Uh, things that help you um, organize um, so yeah I have different ones set up for that um, and as you can see here I will now go into the camera um, so there you have your uh, silicone your face and your backing uh, this I can take a picture I just took a picture and uh, another one uh, you can go in and view your pictures um, and yeah so you can go in and view them and everything and uh, yeah uh, so this is iPod 4th generation um, and you can also turn that around so there you can see the camera and there is back Okay, so the reason I showed you the camera was uh, so you um, you know that it has the camera, and then also when I go later, uh, I will show you the camera as well to show you that it still works, uh, and nothing is actually covered up um, with this case um, besides like the Apple logo on the back, um, and your home button, your volume control buttons, and uh, your sleep button and also your cord adapter and your um, headphone jack and then also your speakers um, the, 
this iPod has a screen protector on it, um, but like I said, uh, with this one for your facing, you have you have a screen protector built in, um, and so yeah, uh, so uh, this silicone, uh, what you do to put it back together. Um, is this goes on last the silicone goes on last uh, and as you can see it says otter box on it uh, you know just to let you know that it's an otter box case uh, if it doesn't have that logo on there then you're probably being ripped off uh, so yeah um, so what you will do is you will take your iPod you'll take the backing put the backing on it doesn't secure until you put your uh, front on so put this on and you need to make sure it aligns up uh, there's certain snaps on here and you'll hear them click into place once they're in place and uh, make sure that it's snapping into place uh, if it does not snap into place then um, it is not secure so there it's all uh, snapped up um, and everything uh, you have your camera your home, your vent, volume controls, sleep, Apple logo, and camera. Now I'll go ahead and put the uh, the silicone on. So you have your silicone uh, part of it on. Then you put on the you put the top on first to make it easier. Then put on the bottom. Make sure you get everything sealed up nice and tight. Make sure uh, that the silicone actually fits in to certain grooves here uh, make sure that it's all the way down in those grooves otherwise you do not have a proper seal on the uh, case so everything is sealed up on my iPod and uh, um, and after you get the hang of it uh, it will actually um, be easier to put it on um, so as you can see you have your camera you have your uh, screen protector, um, your home button, volume controls, sleep button, Apple logo, camera, and then your cord adapter, headphone jack, and then your speaker. Um, so yeah, this is the Honor Box case for the fourth generation. Uh, I will now do a couple drops. Uh, right here um, they won't be uh, too high but you can actually uh, throw this thing like up in the air and let it smack the ground uh, and then it will uh, hit the ground and you'll be able to pick it up and I'll still be able to turn on um, and so yeah this thing is uh, um, it's somewhat waterproof uh, so if you drop it in the water uh, then get it out like as soon as possible because if you don't then it's going to eventually fail but uh um as but it is actually waterproof to some extent um and so yeah uh, you have your raised edges and everything like i said earlier um and then this thing uh will protect it from falling uh and stuff like that I will now do a little drop test right here. Um, so I just dropped it, as you could hear the thud, and then turn it back on, and then uh, also go into your camera. And as you can see, you can still see uh, your camera. Uh, turn the camera around, and you can see the camera. Turn this back around, and yeah. Um, so yeah, you still have your camera available, um, and then I will do a higher drop. So from about right here, and it will hit down there. Okay, now I just dropped it from a higher position, and as you can see, it is still on, still works. Okay, so we are now back. Uh, um, I will drop this from a higher position, um, and then 
I will pick it up and turn it back on and it'll still work so here you go this is uh, higher than like you would drop it out of your pocket or something uh, so if it drops from here and it still works then you know that uh, it will definitely be safe uh, dropping it from your pocket um, this will uh, help uh, keep it uh, safe um, during this drop so I'll be dropping it on a hardwood floor as you can see so hardwood floor I put and this has the other box case on it here goes the drop just hit the ground now I will pick it up and show you that so works so there you have it it is still on the screen still works fine so okay so you have your uh, Otterbox fourth generation iPod uh, case um, and this will protect uh, definitely from a fall like out of your pocket um, for, I did a fall from about uh, uh, let's say I think it was about four feet um, four to five feet and then uh, if not more um, so you can actually throw this up in the air and let it hit the ground and it will still work uh, it is somewhat waterproof uh, like I said earlier do not leave it in the water for too long otherwise it will uh, eventually uh, fail um, so yeah uh, this is the Otterbox fourth generation iPod case uh, if you want to buy one then uh, you can go to otterbox.com and then look or type in iPod fourth generation uh, defender series case uh, there is three different types of cases there is a four, uh, fourth generation defender fourth generation commuter and then a fourth generation uh, um, it's it's in between the commuter and the defender it's a uh, um, I forget what it's called but uh, um, yeah you can uh, check those out the commuter is a little bit sleeker design it is uh, not as bulky um, this one is actually not as bulky uh, for what you would think it would be um, but yeah uh, the commuter is like less bulky you can get it in like different colors different designs and stuff uh, and but it will not protect as well as the Defender series uh, this one is the uh, iPod 4th generation Defender series and this Defender series will uh, protect it from falls uh, I'm even throwing it up in the air and letting it hit the ground um, and yeah it'll help uh, for defending it uh, if you drop your iPod a lot then uh, this is one to get uh, so yeah you have your three different uh, things you have your silicone your front and your backing and uh, put those all together and uh, you have a strong secure piece this uh, has three different things of defense uh, the commuter series only has uh, it only has like one whole uh, thing and then the other one has two and then this one has three layers of protection uh, the silicone adds an extra uh, ability to um, protect it um, and that is uh, the padding um, so yeah just uh, go to otterbox.com I will have the link below uh, and then you can type in uh, fourth generation uh, iPod case uh, this is the Defender series so yeah uh, but um, if you don't drop it too much then uh, you can get the commuter and that'll do just fine so this is Project Savo K here with the iPod fourth generation iPod 4th Generation Defender Case Series from Otterbox.